Hello everyone, this is Harry Nick. And this is a less Harry Justin. Yes, he does exist. We have recorded together after Christmas. It took a while, but it now did. we're back. We just wanted to have a sit down and have a chat about this uh, little movie that just came out. The Rise of the Skywalker or Rise of the... There's a there's a thee in there somewhere. I forgot, I forgot there was a thee. There's a thee in there somewhere. Rise of the Skywalker. Yeah. Just talk about our thoughts on this. Now, I will say I've already made a video on like what X-Wing ships we can expect to see from this for the tabletop game. This that, that video... Was a video. Thank you very much. Um, well, we won't talk about that in this video. It's already going to be way too long as it is. I'm sure you can see down below what um, the actual time is. Uh, where I'm just guessing probably maybe about an hour. We'll see what happens. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Before I dive into this, I just want to say I actually posted this that you're seeing on the screen here, like on social media beforehand, and I really want to front load this video with, I was looking at like a lot of the people's reaction to this, um, particularly people like tr on social media trying to like go, oh, is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? And I just want to say, everyone, no, it's, come. A, it's a Star Wars film. You go there to enjoy yourself. It, and ultimately, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things whether a Star Wars film is good enough. I understand it's episode nine, it's the end of the saga. And people are getting really anxious about this and, like, whether it's going to, you know, ruin the new trilogy and that kind of thing. Ultimately, like, however you fall on it, it there are bigger things to worry about, ultimately. Yeah. I'm not saying our emotions are invalid. I mean, I understand it, Star Wars is a very powerful thing for all of us. I just encourage people to go, hey, just, you know, chill out. It's okay. You know, there's going to be more Star Wars films. It's not the DC Universe. It's No, it's, it's not the DC Universe. We can um, be we, thankful we for that. We can say that as DC fans as well. We can. Yeah, we can. Absolutely. <laughs> um, just wanted to front load this video with that. And also, I just want to say, in general, we did enjoy it. Yeah. Um, we're going to um, really tear it apart in a second. Um, but, but I do want to say, yes, I yeah. enjoyed it. It was fun. While I was watching the film, great film. Yeah, actually, I was the opposite. Like, I've, I felt a bit confused while I was watching it, but, like, on reflection, no, nah, it's kind of fun. It had a lot of fun things. Mm. Um, a lot of a lot of sort of disparaging things, like some things I really enjoyed, some things I didn't really enjoy. But that happens with every film. And we're just two people on the internet. Our opinion is not tantamount to anything, so, you know, in, don't in fact, freak out. In fact, don't listen to us at all. Don't but, listen but, to us but at all. Keep, but keep watching. Keep watching, <laughs> subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. Um, that's the most important thing. Comment. Yeah. And, yeah, that, that's it. But what we're saying is, like, you know, d don't like or yeah, dislike the video. We're, just we're, we, we are not gospel. That's right. Like, don't don't follow what we say. Don't, like, go, oh, they disagree with me. This is the worst thing ever. Oh, like, oh, they agree with me. Yes, I have another ally. It's it's, it's not important in the grand scheme of things. With all that out of the way, let's talk about Rise of the Skywalker The What was your overall impressions of it? Hang on. He's doing something very important, having a sip of some beer. Oh, I need that. I, like, I enjoyed watching it. Like, there was cool stuff happening, you know, the fights, the uh, the Knights of Ren. Oh, they were good. And their ship was amazing. And, uh, like, I enjoyed it all. And then I got out of the film and I went... Kind of fell apart the seams right after, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. What, what about you? Uh, I actually felt very confused while I was watching it. Mm. There were lots of really fun things. Like, the things that I enjoyed, I enjoyed. Um, but overall, like, while I was watching the movie, I was like, whoa, okay, geez. Um, the, we'll talk about the pacing in a second, but, um, yeah. And then on reflection, I'm like, no, nah, actually, it's some really cool stuff in it. Like, mm. I, in, overall enjoyable. Um, maybe if I hadn't seen it at midnight and I hadn't been overworked, maybe I would have enjoyed it a bit more in my movie-going experience. <laughs> but ultimately, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I think it was a fun end to the franchise. It was interesting that it chose to do a certain things that it did. Yeah. Uh, like, I'm going to... I may not pay for another ticket but if someone was to pay for me yeah I'd, I'd go again I'd, I'd go again I'm actually I'm, I'm just on the same boat like I'll wait for it to come out on Blu-ray I'll, I'll buy it or whatever it's yeah. all cool um, look, or watch it on Disney Plus and I think that really brings us to like the first point we want to make like ultimately what informed my movie going experience was the pacing um, if I, there was something like right at the start of the movie which was so emblematic and that was the hyperspace skipping really yeah. cool scene really cool scene but boy did it set the tone of that first half of the movie it's like we're here we're here we're here we're over here we're over here we're over here yeah. really cool um, but boy did they and that had never yeah. happened before either no it was, um, it was some new thing that came out and I'm happy that they did that like these things can do that and like I found it, it enjoyable but it annoyed me that it it somewhat diminishes the relevance of Han doing it mm. on one planet. Like, Poe doing it, like, several times in the space of 30 seconds was like... Remember that thing that Han Solo did in Episode 7? Doesn't matter, we can just do it all the time. 
<laughs> well, I mean, Poe's a pretty good pilot. I mean, he's I, not a hell of a pilot. I understand. In fact, he is, no, he is a hell of a pilot. He is the hell of a pilot. Yeah. But my problem with that, and this is a conundrum that I have whenever you make another character irrelevant. I call it the Flash conundrum. Because in the Justice mm. League, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. We have, we have the Flash. Really cool character. Like, um... Uh, uh, realistically, possibly one of the strongest characters. Absolutely. The problem is, we also have another character who can go about as fast as the Flash. And also has a lot of other powers yeah. as well, called Superman. And that's the kind of thing I have. Like, whenever you make a character irrelevant by going, Hey, we can do that again, but with some other stuff. It's like, what, what was the point of having Han in Episode 7? That, that oh. kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just, I, see where you're I just want to, I just want to yeah. bring that up. Um, yeah. I mean, it was cool. It was mm. cool. Um, but like, I, like, I want to say it would have made more sense if Poe had just skipped through hyperspace and like uh, maybe only like once or twice. Oh no, no, more uh, to the point. Like, just lent, ended up in space somewhere. The fact that he did it in atmosphere. Yeah, that yeah. was the point I'm making here. Okay, like, you jumping out of hyperspace into another planet's planet. atmosphere is meant to be near impossible. Possible. Yeah. Um. So doing it over and over again looked awesome. Mm. Like the whole idea that not only the resistance had to use tactics like that, but the fact that the first order had made hyperspace tracking doable on their Tie Fighters as yeah. opposed to just their flagships. Yeah, that was cool. Like, yeah. and like, now, now all of a sudden I realise why they did that because you're just like hyperspace tracking of course yeah because they could only do it on the lead ship yeah. in the previous movie in The Last Jedi mm. and that was kind of cool and I love that they didn't overtly say it they didn't yeah. They didn't shine a light on it they didn't no, yeah, just, it, it was subtle like that, as soon as you said that I just it clicked I really enjoyed the first half like the whole idea that it was like this fantasy adventure and you had your core mm cast. The core cast was fantastic. Oh, they did so well. Um, Poe and Finn, particularly in this movie, are the best they've ever been. Um, Ray, Ray and Poe, like, having that dynamic was so mm. cool. Like, Poe getting really angry that Ray wasn't there. Like, their best fighter. Like, having yeah. them butt heads. I'm like, of course they're gonna butt heads. They're both, like, these amazing pilots of the same ship. That was so cool. Um, and they, you know, they get the dagger and they go get the Sith Stone. Yeah, it was a bit contrived, you know, the dagger showing the way on the destroyed Death Star. I mean, who makes that? But it was still kind of oh, cool. Dark Side Acolytes? I guess. But then why would they be making it? But why would they do it for the... the it's kind of weird to think about, but yeah. it was fun. It was ultimately yeah. fun. Turn, um, turn, your, turn your brain off. Turn Just your brain off, and it was a fun little adventure. Yeah. It, but the pacing was really off. Oh, and speaking of turning your brain off, like that whole scene with the quicksand. Um, yeah. By the way, I'm sorry if we're jumping around. We have tried to organise this video as best we can it, with no tip. Like we're we're just we just found like now we just got to press record and do this. Um, the quicksand, just yeah. falling through the quicksand and then being okay. It's like well, of course they were going to be okay. If it was any other characters, yeah, they would have died yeah. immediately. And it was good that they also did the the Force Heal, which we saw yes. a, a couple of days beforehand on Mando. Yes, very yeah. cool indeed. Um, I really enjoyed that part of it. Mm. Um, the way it was set up with like the giant lizard creature uh, thingamajig. Oh, yeah, the worm thing. Yeah. I, I forget. It's been a few weeks. Yeah. Um, Justin saw it so, last week. I saw it when it actually released. Mm. And, and, and like bring that back with Kylo and making that the reason Kylo turned. I actually liked Kylo's turn. Yeah. I thought the whole thing with Leia is like, yes, you had to find a simple way to write her out. I understand. Um, I think they did it well, though. And yeah, it, it was it, okay. It, it was... Every time you saw her on screen, you were just like... Oh. It, it worked. There, 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 was, there was a lot of I mean, reverence for her, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I, I felt too aware that she wasn't there. Like, yeah. you can tell. It's the same problem with Han in the special edition of A New Hope when he's talking to Jabba the Hutt. The mm. eye line's just off a little bit. It, You can always tell when two actors are not in the same room. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't know how to feel about Leia. I mean, it, obviously no issues with CG. Um, yeah. That that was fine. Like, she looked realistic, mm. but you could just tell she wasn't there, and that kind of disappointed me. Like, I almost would have preferred a dignified uh, death for her between movies and, like, just being referential of that in some way. Yeah. Like, I understand, yeah. like, her but, essentially uh, being a Jedi played into this movie really well. And I think they couldn't do that because of the last movie, though. Yeah, I mean, I mean, she did die before the release of The Last Jedi. Yeah, but... They could it, have killed her in The Last Jedi. Y yes, and th there was 
that major scene in The Last Jedi where you mm. go, oh, that's where it's going to happen. And then it doesn't. And, and then like, oh. Mary Poppins, y'all. Um, <laughs> which was fine. Like, yeah. honestly, like, I've rewatched The Last Jedi just recently. And I'm like, I don't have a problem with that anymore. I, I sat down and I rewatched uh, Seven and Eight before I went in. Uh, like, yeah, yeah. The, the night before. And I went, these films really aren't as bad as. Uh, yeah, oh, says, there, there is so much toxicity in this. Film. Oh, there is a lot of toxicity around the discussion. Yeah. Thankfully, I feel like, and this might be different for you guys out there, I don't feel like this time around is as toxic as was The Last Jedi. I mean, there was a lot of politically motivated discussion around that, and I don't, I'm not going to get into that. I yeah. have no interest in whatsoever. No. Um, a lot of the discussion around this film is around the validity of it as a film, which at the very least I prefer. I mean, people are still getting too emotional overall, but that's fine, I suppose. Mm. People are out to get emotional, whether good or bad. I mean, it, it, these films really touch us in a way. Like, yeah. they're, they're so but, relevant. But they've been with us since we were born. That's right. Like, I still rate The Empire Strikes Back as one of my favourite movies of all time. Hmm. Not just best in terms of the Star Wars. Like, I actually think it is a brilliantly conceived film outside the context of Star Wars. Hmm. The second half of the movie, after, like, we had, like, the fantasy-style fetch quest and we had, you know, Ben turning and... Talking to Han Solo. Oh boy, I love that. Oh, that was Harrison that was Ford. So nice to see. Like old man grumpy Harrison Ford could have phoned it in. He could have phoned it in with all not just with with Han, like with Indy and whatever. Like Indiana 4 was a bad movie, but he didn't phone it in as a character. No. He has done oh, Blade Runner! Old man Harrison has done such a good job at reprising these old characters. I mean, mm. you can say what you want about the films, but I believe he's done a fantastic job and reprising Han. In episode 9 was fantastic. Yeah. I will say, though, one thing disappointed me about that scene. When I heard the words, hey, kid, I swear it was Hayden Christensen. I swear that was going to be Anakin for a second there. That would have been pretty cool. Yes, because of the relevance that would have brought... Now, Mm. yes, I understand... Han, they bookend the scene with The Force Awakens. They even bring back that line, I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do that. Yeah. Literal goosebumps when that oh, happened. So that was a beautiful scene. But do you think they But to have turned Anakin yeah, meet do... Ben when he turns? But... Yeah. And, and if, even if he uses those same lines, could it have more gravitas? I don't know. I don't know. I like At the expense of Han, I understand. But, yeah. but the whole thing was like... Hayden Christensen, I, I, I suppose we have to say was, because he's not really an actor anymore, was a fantastic actor oh. who didn't really have his chance to shine in the Star Wars movies. He was really jaded after that experience. And to have a chance for him to come back and to do something as powerful as be the one that turns Ben would have been incredible. Um, mm. And also, if you had Hayden Christensen in that scene, it would have legitimized George putting him back in the Return of the Jedi scene. Um, as a Force Ghost, yeah, okay. yeah, that would have looked cool. It would have looked really cool. Yeah. Like it's just an idea. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. splitting hairs here. Like having Han in that scene, even mm. just as a memory, was really cool. He wasn't a Force Ghost. He was no. a memory. Mm. He was in brain. He was in brains. Ben's. He was in Ben's <laughs> brain. Boy, it's fun to say. He was in Ben's brain the whole time. How many beers have you had? Uh, just the two. Oh. Um, yes, we're not a kids' channel, by the way. Oh, also, it's very hot in Melbourne today. So uh, forty-one. Jeez, oh, really? That yeah. aircon is doing some work. Apologies if you can hear that. We are not turning that <laughs> off. Just so you know. Yeah. The whole country's on fire. It's travesty. So just circling back, I actually want to go back to the start of the film. The title crawl. Yes, indeed. Um, was there other films that had, like, Emperor Palpatine? You know when it says that. In big, bold capitals? Big, bold capitals. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But it, it was quite overt in this one, wasn't it? <laughs> Like, there was so many capitals in it, it sort of took me out at the start. Yeah. Remember um, this old stuff yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah you you it, remember? I remember. I, I, I'm sure it's been there before. What mm. really got me about that was, like, the dead speak. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's a reference to Fortnite, of all things. Oh. Which Where is fine. Like, like, it doesn't bother me. I, I don't... Have it in something that other people can... S- that everyone can see. Not just... Children. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Fortnite. No. Don't get me wrong, but it is it is such a very specific medium, and yeah. it, you know, I, I, I have only ever played it once, and I turned it off straight after. That's all right. You don't have to mm. because you have your old man with a job <laughs> and a child of your own. I completely understand. Mm. It doesn't really appeal to you, no. but yeah, that was kind of weird. Like, I have n- yeah. nothing against Fortnite. Whatever. If you like it, you like it. But mm. it was such a bizarre thing to do. Like, but yeah. Um, what else we need to talk about, man? Um, uh, but. 
I suppose that whole sequence afterwards where Ray goes and meets the Emperor and, and there's a, a fleet of Star Destroyers. Well, well Ben sees him first. Oh, Ray sees her at the end. Oh, but we're talking about like after the whole quest. Like the ben oh, seeing okay. Palp was the very first thing that happened. I, I loved that, by the way. That was cool. Ben and Palp at the start. And, and Kylo had, and Palp, I suppose. You, you had the massive old Sith. Like the big temple and the big yeah. life support thing. Oh, spike into the so sky. Cool. And, the, and then having all those little random heads of Snoke in the back. The, uh, in the, the failed tanks. clones, yeah. Yeah. Like that, that, cool. that really made Snoke irrelevant, I will say, though. I... How do you feel about that? Like that was a that's a pretty hard veer from um, the Last Jedi. Yeah, I mean the first time we saw Snoke in Episode Seven, I thought he was going to be a giant, and I was so, so hyped for yeah. giant Snoke. Yeah, like and then he was a hologram, ten, ten foot tall, and then he was behemoth of a man, and then he was an old guy in a gold dressing gown, and then yeah. he got chopped in half, and then he was a clone who didn't matter at all. I feel, uh, like, I feel bad for Snoke. He had a bad trajectory over these three movies. Yeah, it, it certainly went. Well, I, I think the worst one was eight for him. Nine, he just sort of kept going. I suppose so. I suppose uh, like, so. For me, honestly, Snoke wasn't the important character. No, no, he wasn't. And even in at eight, Snoke was a vehicle to make Kylo the head of the First Order. Yeah. I completely understand that. And then, not only was he that, he wasn't even important at all. He actually just was an extension of Palpatine the whole time. Hmm. Which is fine. I mean, he basically was a Palpatine analogue the entire time. So, yeah, whatever. Yeah. That's okay, I suppose. Um, but, ultimately, uh, making Palp the main villain for this, like, there's a lot of ramifications for that, ultimately. Mm. Um, when we look at what that does for the story at large, I mean, a lot of people were complaining like, oh, that makes Luke irrelevant. I don't agree with that. Why I think it Luke, Luke irrelevant? I think the whole idea was like, Luke was meant to be the one that brings balance to the Force and kill Palpatine or oversee the, the killing of Palpatine and like Va- Vader throwing Palpatine off the side. And yeah. I, I, I get it. Yeah, like, yeah. For me, it'd be more about Vader than I agree. Luke. It kind of... Like, we have a six-movie arc for Vader... And then ultimately what he did didn't ultimately matter? I mean, mm. I st- like, Luke still had a huge hand over the course of the sequel movies as well, but, like, yeah. Vader... That's another reason I would have loved to have seen Hayden Christians in it. Yeah. Like, like give him a hand in this movie. Give that character well, well, relevance. Like, it, it's him saying that you know, Ben Skywalker is the character that's going to bring balance to the Force. The Skywalker family is still bringing balance to the Force. They're still the well, chosen one. Well, ultimately... That's the whole thing. Yeah. Who's the chosen one? Yeah. It's Ray. Ray was the chosen one the whole time. That's what the implication is. Hmm. Because what did the Jedi say to her? Bring balance. Huh. That's the, that's say do it. Bring balance. Yeah. Ray is the chosen one the entire time. And look, you can say what you want about that. I think it came together okay, but I boy, am I, I don't sad mind, about Vader. <laughs> I don't mind her being... That's fun, because the yeah. whole, whole idea was she was the penultimate Jedi that brought together all the power of all the Jedi. Hmm. Her being the last Jedi allowed her to be OP like she has been in these last few movies. Like, she she gets all the juice from all the dead Jedi. Yeah. I accept that. Oh, you even had Liam Neeson's voice in it. Yeah, that was kind of cool. <sighs> I loved how, hearing Liam Neeson. Oh. I'm like, oh, Liam Neeson! <laughs> and speaking of which, we were talking before, what's the deal with Ahsoka? So Ahsoka yeah, it, had her voice there? Which, yeah, it, is she dead then? I don't know. Apparently, mm-hmm. um, uh, someone in Star, Star Wars HQ, I can't remember if it was Dave Filoni or if it was someone else, mm-hmm. and they haven't stated specifically whether or not she is dead in by the time of the rise of skywalker mm. cuz we know she's around yeah she was looking for ezra she and sabine went mm. off to look for ezra after the empire fell yeah so that's kind of interesting like i kind of like the idea that ray literally is the last jedi um yeah. which would be kind of cool i suppose i mean after leia died literally the last good force user in the universe Gets all the secret juice. But then... Uh, ben. What, but what's Ben then? <laughs> oh, Ben... Is he just forgotten? Like uh, Ben uh, is just... a tool to save Ray at the end oh. and give her a big old smooch and then just die. Shouldn't have smooched. Shouldn't no. Have, uh. That doesn't annoy me as much as Ben dying because he overexerted himself. Like, I get it. It's not a bad plot device, but... No, it is a bad plot device. It's a bad plot device when it's overplayed to this point, because he's now the third character to do that. Mm. Like I liked, you know, Luke 
astral projecting onto another planet in The Last Jedi. I thought that was a really cool way to like, go, yes, this is a legendary character. Let's send him out in a legendary way. Yeah. And then Leia kind of does the same thing with Ben. And it's like, okay, yeah. And then and then Ben does it. I'm like, seriously, are we just... Like, no. every, every character we need a dignified death for, we're just going to make them use the Force really hard. Yeah. Really hard. And then go, blah. It literally was that. Like, they were like, looking at it, and he goes, blah. Yeah, it, it, it's 100, 100, 100, dead. I, yeah, yeah, I mean... Uh, that, I would have liked, personally, my own opinion, everyone else can have their own opinion. Oh, that's what it's all about. Like, exactly, we're, we're just yeah. expressing our opinion. I would have loved... For Very ben, loudly for everyone on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> I would have loved for Ben to survive. Ben, Me too. Ben's character... The fact that he turned back to the light, and then the bit where he fights yeah. the Knights of Ren, and they... They swap the. That was lovely. Look. How cool did that look? And then he's like, "Yeah, I'm going to fight these guys. I'm going to kill them all." I love that the force is always slightly ill-defined, and mm. there's always we're always finding new powers. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that them like they're trying to work out where he was, and then like he finds the statue, and then he goes, "Oh, she's on my ship." That was so oh, cool. How cool did that look? That was yeah. very cool. Um, but then then to have Ben die at the end, it was like. Well, like, my, like, we my, have to mirror the story with I, it's Vader you're doing Vader again I know you just can't help yourselves it's okay Disney you can change, change the plot yeah. a little bit yeah. oh just speak, oh. speaking of changing the plot we just watched a little thing about on um, episode 8 with Phasma oh yes now if you want something very cool that would have made this last Jedi slightly better in our opinion mm. um, uh, type in deleted scene Phasma death it's so it's so cool because yeah. it, it's this, it's this whole thing with Finn and Phasma and Finn actually calls Phasma out for like you know betraying the First Order in Episode Seven. It's really really cool. Yeah. Go and watch it after this video and you subscribe to comment and all that kind of, kind of stuff. But go and watch that video. Um, yeah, yeah, really cool. And like it's those things like that. Like I wonder if there's a version of this where uh, Ben survives. I well, really wanted him to go and celebrate with the Resistance. He deserves that. Apparently there's like three or four different endings for this film. I am not surprised. Yeah. They were really safe with a lot of these choices. And mm. I mean, it doesn't make it a bad film, but at the same time I was like, oh, just... just Yeah, I would have liked... Something. Spe- Give us speaking a, a, of, a crumb of something, Speaking please. of safe, Lando. Yeah. Yeah, Lando. He did nothing in this film. He I'm was sorry. cool. He was awesome. He was cool. He was Lando. He did. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. talking like Lando. <laughs> and this is. I should do every video like this. Like and subscribe. <laughs> and then he he brought back all the ships and everything. But that but that could have literally been anyone. It could have been anyone. And I completely agree. Like, there's got to be some reason for that. Like, I really I, I love the reveal. It's like, hey, it's like in the last Jedi, not the last Jedi. It's like in the Return of the Jedi, where mm. he takes his thing off. It's like, oh, oh, the sneaky Lando sneaking yeah. around Jabba's palace. He was hanging out with the with the with, with the Colorbomb with, Festival with, with, with the car, with the party people. That was really cool. Like, yeah. oh, and I like that he was the one that got and went and got everyone. But it could have been Rose. Rose could have done that. It would have been a good thing for Rose yeah. to do. Yeah, it would have been appropriate for Rose. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. like. Rose yeah, could have done yeah, a bit more in this film, frankly. You, yeah, I, I I agree with you on that. Oh, absolutely. And, and apparently, um, because there was so much more that they wanted to put Leia in, they cut her out, which I'm a bit disappointed in. They cut Rose out or Leia out? Rose out. Oh, Rose was going to be... More instrumental. But oh, okay, that's yeah. fair enough. Um, I, and, like, I understand that, like, Leia is Leia, but Rose... Would, yeah. I, and I think it's because everyone... The, the backlash of... I her. really hope it wasn't. Like, if if that's the way Disney responds because people but, don't like a character, that's... That, that that's, that's the wrong thing to do. It's uncool. Yeah. Especially after what happened to that actor. I mean, it's yeah, she sucks, doesn't. Man. She doesn't deserve any... No. And here's the thing, guys. Like, I, I get it because people still go, oh, Rose was a terrible character. Like, come on, we can stop now. Like... You're allowed to have that opinion, but just let's let's just call it, it off. It, it, it's we're done. You, we've heard your opinion. Mm. It's good. It's leave it. It's please leave it. Th- that's her character. Her character is not her. That's right. She deserves the rest of her life to be happy. That's <laughs> don't we all? Exactly. Don't we all? I, I do, I, and you do I, as well. I would like that. Absolutely. Let's have in, in drink fact, to that. In fact, mm. you should too. Mm. Like and subscribe. You know, having characters like Zori Bliss and some of these new side characters. 
Uh, Dominic Monaghan's character. I don't know his name, but I just called him Dominic Monaghan. Indeed. Uh, more stormtroopers that turn. That was kind of cool. I like that. That was a really good scene. And, well, scenes, I suppose. And it showed so much more that uh, Finn wasn't an outlier. Like, there, there's other characters that could How could he be? Yeah. I mean, surely the First Order were doing that all over the galaxy. Like, <laughs> how would everyone just be cool with it? Mm. Um and it worked. Yeah. It worked really good. Cool. Uh, and her, yeah, the, her character was just amazing. And then at the end, she's just like, I don't know who my family is. And Lando's just like, yeah, I'm no, going to well, find Let's you. go find out. <laughs> yeah. You're secretly my daughter. Because that's the plot of all Star Wars films, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, and later on, she'll be a force user. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. That is the thing. Oh, speaking of side characters. Let's just talk about the characters in general. I just want to say, let, let's talk about some more positives now. Yeah. I want to say... My favourite character in this whole movie was C-3PO. Oh, I loved it. I know you don't agree. I, I don't agree with you. I, I don't necessarily know who my favourite character was. But oh, I loved him so much. Anthony Daniels did a fantastic job. And to actually have him be an actual hero this time around... Yeah, it was nice. Made I, me very happy. I, I don't know. He, to, he, he was still, to me, that annoying C-3PO insofar as, like... He's just like, I'm going to do this. And everyone's just like, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Yeah, let's wipe his brain. Who cares? But the fact that he actually sacrificed. Yeah. And, you know, he was, he was anxious about it, but he, he did it because he realized, hey, I've, I'll get my memory wiped. Now, I know it was fixed by R2, but at the same time, he didn't know that was going to happen. That was a big deal no. for him. Yeah. It, like it is. It, it's killing yourself. It, well, essentially, yeah. yeah. Um, and um, Babu Frick. Oh, oh he, he was my... How did Disney keep doing this? How did Disney <laughs> but, keep but, making characters he, just for the sake of making toys, but I still love them every time? I don't know. He is my newest friend. He is he my, my newest oldest friend. He is actually. my oldest friend. Yeah. I love that line so much. It's like, oh, I am C-3PO. Like, talking to all his like closest friends. Oh, no, oh hey, no. I'm I... me, a bubble frick. <laughs> oh, and he no, was like, bubble hey, frick. Hello, bubble frick. <laughs> oh, that was... Oh, I love... That. I was so happy. I was just so yeah. happy with that kind of stuff. And, yeah. It just... I really... Like, you got to appreciate Anthony Daniels has been in... What now? Ten of the eleven Star Wars films ever made. Jeebus. He had yes. He has. He's been in, he's been in all the core films and Rogue One. Yeah. He just wasn't in Solo. That's it. That's literally it. Wow. And he was a big part in a good chunk of them. Like yeah. definitely the original trilogy. Not so much the prequels. A little bit in the sequels. And you know he really was pushing to get more of a core role in this one. In fact, they all were. Hmm. I remember John Boyega talking in the last um, Star Wars celebration about how we've got to get these characters together, like working together. And, and I think they did a great job of that. The main four core characters of... Absolutely. Poe, Ray, him. Even Ben Chewie, as well. Ben. Yeah, like all yeah. of them together just... Like this was... Parts of this film just... Like, it was so Star Wars. Absolutely. Like, that's the whole thing. And that's why I want to talk about, like, the first half of it being, like, this epic fantasy. And that was really cool. Um, yeah, pacing problems, whatever. But I do love these core characters. Like, yeah. I think these sequel characters in general... Like, what, what? Finn, Poe, Ray, Kylo. Like, in all four... Four? In all three movies have been tight. Yeah. Just good, well-told characters. And I like that. And that's what Star Wars is all about. Mm. Um, for me, anyway. Like... I think the prequels didn't have as well-defined characters, and that was one of the failings of those. Mm. Um, and that's fine. Like, uh, just on that note, like people ranking Star Wars films is this big thing recently. Yeah, I did it on Twitter recently as well, just for fun. But in hindsight, I'm like, I don't like comparing these films to each other. I tried doing it after seeing the movie, and I couldn't. It's the thing I had trouble. Like, yeah. I've got my favorites. Yeah, me too. And I've got. Clone Wars, which Indeed. is mm. yeah, a bit different. Like, but all the other core films, on, and even the other two, it's really hard to put those films into a line because I started writing it. And I went, oh no, but I really like this one, and then I started writing. People get lines. so obsessed over it, and then and, start arguing over it, yeah. and it's just like whatever. I, I the original trilogy, I love. They're yeah. always going to be the best for me. But the other ones had problems, and they had different kinds of problems. Like, no other Star Wars movie has problems the way Solo has problems, for example. We spoke about that recently on a video talking about The Mandalorian. Mm. And it's just one of those things. Like, I, 
I really dislike doing that. I'm going to say that. I'm never going to rank the Star Wars films again. Mm. I don't think they need to. I no. think they can all stand on their own oh, as a collective and just say, these are good... It's a good franchise. Like, here's the thing. At the end of the day, I have a lot of problems with The Rise of Skywalker, but I still enjoy it and the franchise in general. Yeah. It doesn't spoil the franchise if one of them goes bad. I know that was largely the reaction after 7 and 8. Um, especially but, 8. But... Especially 8. Um, but I, I will say, um, a lot of these people are maybe a bit younger and don't, you know, aren't as invested in other franchises as much as they are in Star Wars. Um, you know, we're both in our early 30s. Uh, I will say, here's a great example. I am a huge fan of James Bond. Um, all 24 movies, I, 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 I can recite the plot to. I know the actors. I can recite all the movie names. Like, no one else I know can do that. <laughs> there are more bad fo- Bond films than there are good Bond films. Hmm. I still love that franchise. Oh boy, do I love that franchise. I love it. I love it warts and all. Hmm. And I'm the same way with Star Wars. This was a messy film. I, I wouldn't categorise it as a total mess. I still think the core characters and the plot were tight. Yep. And that's one of the reasons I still say I enjoyed this film. But it's, it's part of it. It's part of the whole issue of having different directors going in different directions. Um, uh, yeah, I think that was their problem. Oh, here's the thing. I would love a franchise made by Ryan Johnson or J.J. Abrams. But it's and it's that core problem with Ray. Either Ray's parents are no one, or Ray's parents are someone. Mm. Both of those plot lines are interesting to me, but they were both crammed into the same trilogy, and that created a big problem. Mm. Ultimately, yeah. um, you know, Kylo saying, "Oh, when I told you your parents were no one, I, I was lying, mm. but I didn't lie. Actually, no, they chose to be no one." I'm like, yeah. "Oh my." Yeah, that's you, you, not you, you, where that was going that, at that's, all. That's bad writing. That, um, that was that was a veer. That was a yeah. hard veer right there. Yeah. And I understand with J.J. Abrams wanting to take it in the direction he wanted to take it. And I, I'm fine with that. Just they should have done that from the start. They should have realized that. Yeah, you need someone to be overseeing. Absolutely, like they're doing with, with Marvel. Marvel. Yeah. Um. Uh. Wow. Did Marvel stick the landing with Endgame? Like, wow. Mm. I just. I have no words. Like, yeah. um, I don't want to compare this to Endgame because they're such different films, but at the same time, Endgame was so tight in its plot line. Um, the characters... Were, a lot of the same things with Star Wars. Really awesome characters in the Marvel franchise. And, you know, very fluffy. A lot of people are cynical and say, oh, they're not real movies or whatever. But let's not talk about Martin Scorsese. Let's like yeah. just mention the fact that, yeah, Star Wars has a lot of the same uh, appeal that Marvel has, but it didn't have the organisation that Marvel has. Hmm. and hopefully the organisation that Marvel continues to have in the well, next phase yeah obviously Disney are going to do more Star Wars films so let's not no, let's not kid ourselves no, it's going to happen yeah. um, they're going to have to think about what that's going to look like in the future because they've tried to redo it so many times yeah. now I think it's going to be maybe two years down the line could be but my point is like I think the best choice right now is to just do a hard reset do not do episode 10, 11, 12. No. I don't think they can do... No, I think... Keep the Star Wars... The Skywalker saga, what it is. Whatever. Mistakes are made. Let's learn from it. Hmm. Let's go back. Let's look at maybe doing some KOTOR movies. Or KOTOR would be perfect for them. Absolutely. A new cast of characters. Hmm. Maybe do Revan. Maybe like do Revan in the own way they want to do it. Hmm. That's cool. We know Revan's canon now because of some of the... Um, what was it? Some shots in The Last Jedi and... One of the Stormtrooper units was known as the Revan room. unit yeah. in the um, uh, Expanded Dictionary or wherever it was, mm. based on this movie. But yeah, there's some other um, random Sith that are also now canon as well. Oh, there you go. Excellent. Mm. Um, Disney have been very good at taking a look at what the Extended Universe had to offer and just like cherry-picking things that worked. Mm. Because, let's face it, the original Extended Universe was very confused. Which is fine, because it was lots of different creative directions. Yeah. Do you reckon uh, yeah. they'll ever do the Yuuzhan Vong? I don't know what that is, Justin. What is the Yuuzhan Vong? So the Yuuzhan Vong were a bunch of aliens that came from outside of their universe. So the Yuuzhan Vong were from the old EU. Okay, basic- so not canon anymore. No, not canon anymore. Sure. Um, basically, they hated droids. Um, uh, they became almost zealous in that. Oh, so they're Mandalorians. Form. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and they lived on um, basically bioengineered ships of like asteroids. I'll stop you right there. No, I don't think Disney is going to do that. No, I think Disney because they they were in one they're, of the they're books. playing it way too safe. I reckon they could 
do something with it in a like a kotor insofar as like there's a scout ship i, I think, think that'd be cool i think the risk of trying something new like that where the the main threat mm. is something different than sith or dark jedi in general yeah. is too much of a risk for disney mm. or that's the way that like man they were so safe with this film um i think yeah. like kotor with a sith army versus the jedi army Oh. Is, is safe yeah. enough, but new and interesting enough. Have you seen there's um from the Kotor game? There's a massive scene where you see like these Sith fighting the Jedi and no, I random haven't. troops. It looks oh, so good. And man, it's, I, um, I gotta play this. Everyone Darth, keeps going on about it. Darth Mal- Malgus, I think his name was. He's basically got this sort of half. Um, Vader mask on him. Why do all the Sith get messed up like that? I just I don't understand because it. Because they're using the um, Force in ways that it's isn't not, natural. It's Insofar not the way as Vader as... and Palpatine got messed up, though. Yeah, that was a coincidence. Not... <laughs> <laughs> it's because they they will use it to the full ex- fullest extent, and they will, and, and, it, and, and it they go destroys over. their body. Yeah. yeah, the way they did in the prequels was different. Anyway, we're getting on a bit of a tangent here. Um, yeah, I, I honestly think that kind of direction right now for Disney would be ideal. Well, there's talk of um, Keanu Reeves playing Revan. That'd be uh, sick. And that would look so cool. And Keanu Reeves is just... He's hitting everything out of the park right he now. He is a delightful human being. He is. Controversial opinion. <laughs> Keanu Reeves is a delightful human being. That will set the internet ablaze, oh, my friend. Oh, no, you're delightful. Let's, let's finish off this video talking about the final threat, the final battle and everything. First of all, Star Destroyers that can wipe out planets. Yeah, who cares? Because there was still one thing that destroyed all of them. It, uh, this is my yeah. issue with Star Killer Base. Oh wow, it can blow up all these things. Like, yeah, but you blow this one thing up and the whole thing goes down. It's it's the Death Star all over again. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, the, my problem was it's just like, oh, it's another thing. But it's like, the, the first time it's like, oh, it's, it's the Death Star. And then Death Star 2, which is slightly bigger. There's a, fundamental, got... there's a fundamental difference with, with these, though. Hmm? The original Death Star could have survived and it would not have made the next movie untenable. A fleet of Star Destroyers that can destroy planets, no, that has to die. Like, well, there was no doubt in what, anyone's mind that that was going to be wiped out. Weren't, weren't some of them off that planet anyway, destroying other planets? They were being wiped out by other other things. Um, if you have a look at the Star Destroyer over Endor, with the Ewoks looking at it, yeah. it was wiped out by a ship um, ripping it to part with hyperspace. Huh. Holdo style. Yeah. Hold- and, and they they talk about that. The Holdo maneuver, yeah. yeah. That's really cool. I, like, I love it. We should do the Holdo maneuver, and they're just like, no, no, we can't do that. It's, no, no, it's we're, a one in a million. We're, um, we're, a, whoosh, we're uh, <laughs> running out of ships, guys. Ah, uh, jeez. <laughs> um, yeah, that was cool. Uh, that, that was the whole thing. Like, the entire galaxy was revolting at the same time. Yeah. Um, uh, which was kind of cool. Oh, I'm glad that they did that. Like, everyone oh, can be a rebel. Loved it. Yeah. That was such a good plot. Like, I, I get it. Like, and it even like juxtaposed from the last Jedi where nobody showed up. Mm. Like having like, oh, let's get the old gang back together with Lando. I guess that's a reason to have Lando. Like they did the whole Blues Brothers thing with Wedge <laughs> and that kind of thing. Wedge was cool. Wedge uh, was cool. I, um, I saw this movie with my brother and he didn't realize it was Wedge. Which is like, it's Wedge. It's Wedge. It's Wedge. It's Obi Wan's uncle. <laughs> look, look, there he is. Um, yeah, I mean, the whole thing was like, oh, Wedge is going to be in the movie. Yay! One second shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool, whatever. Uh, yeah, fan, fan service the movie. Yeah, yeah, fan service the movie. Hashtag. Yeah. Um, not that it destroyed the movie, but yeah. there was way more fans. Like, this is usually the kind of fan service we get in, like, the side movies, like Solo or Rogue One, where they're mainly about universe building, where this was, like, the core group of characters with like the snippets but like no that, let's actually push the snippets to the point where we have like all the extended universe stuff all the cool stuff right there coming at you Ray flying um Red 5 mm-hmm. how did you feel about that not having an astromech does it need an astromech it needs an astromech to plot the hyperspace points I, I suppose it doesn't need it for the because it's got the Ray used the thing yeah the, she used the, the rock the rock of finding Palpatine <laughs> Not not a holocron, you. Not a holocron. No, no, it was definitely not. wasn't a holocron. It, it was a wayfinder. No, was it a wayfinder? It was a stone that told you where to go, mm. and why it wasn't that, a holocron. A, I that, do that's not a wayfinder, know. isn't it? Sure. In, like I, sure. I, I, I play D and D in Pathfinder, so that's a wayfinder. Yeah, I suppose so, and it would make sense because it's you know Star Wars ultimately is a giant game of D and D. Let's mm. face it. 
Um, but, no, that, that was fine. That didn't bother me at all. I mean, uh, people were freaking out because, um, what, Kylo flew a tyre len between planets? Yeah. Not supposed to be able to do that? Was it? It was a tyre len? Well, it didn't look like a tyre SF because it didn't have the red stripe. No, because um, he, he might have got it out of the Death Star. Um, yeah, that'd be kind of... Because um, well, TIE Fighters do not have life support. You should not be able to fly them oh, without a helmet. Because he doesn't have the helmet. No. Shouldn't be able to do that, and it should not be able to fly between planets. It's, well, a, short, uh, it's a short range fighter. Yeah, but it could, I, couldn't have got out this far. I was thinking, like, maybe he could have, like, a Star Destroyer with him. Then yes. he comes back to the That was my explanation. Like, like yeah. he probably would have just taken his Star Destroyer. I mean, he doesn't have to tell them. It's like, oh, lost my helmet and my lightsaber. Anyway, gonna see Palp again. Could you, could you just. Yeah, just. <laughs> just, just do the thing but that's not what was implied at the same time like I get it I get it yeah um, the turning of Ben I, I quite enjoyed actually and mm. him and Ray fighting Palp at the end like the one the twins power up <laughs> um, it was cool I, I, yeah I was fine with it I, I don't really know what Palp's plan was like kill me like don't kill me but he, kill me he was like kill me so I can then transfer my Would that have to wor- you? was the implication was that was never going to work what do you mean? Was the was he trying to trick Ray the entire time? No, he wanted her to kill him because he would transfer his essence. But it also worked the other way as well. Is was is the implication? Well, no, because then there was two of them, and he could force lightning. But kind of the essence. implication there is he told Ray to kill him, so she would then team up with Ben to do something so she wouldn't kill him, and then the Wonder Twins would turn up, and he'd suck all the power out of them. That's the whole thing. Now my head's hurting. I know. My head's hurting too, thinking about this. Um, But yeah, and then Palp just has, like, all the lightning. All (laughs) the lightning. Lightning and a bit of dubstep. Um, Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Man, I will never never get sick of Star Wars Star Design. I I love it. That was so good. And and, then, you know, thank God Ray stopped him just before any of the ships hit the ground. That was so close. It could have, anything could have happened. That's plot armor for the entire galaxy right there. <laughs> um, I mean, that was cool. I, I, I enjoyed that. I mean, yeah, Palp really needs to learn to turn the lightning off when it's killing himself, but whatever. And that was Palp's undoing. Well, well, I suppose if, he's, if he doesn't, if he turns the lightning off, I the, think the, the lightsaber's just going to go straight through him. I think the implication was once he starts, he can't stop. He's like eating a packet of Pringles. <laughs> you know, going, I can't turn it off. Turn, someone turn the switch off, <laughs> kind of thing. Um, which is the same thing which happened with Mace Window as well. You'd think he would have learned, like, oh, yeah, I should stop well, shooting well, lightning well, into lightsabers. It he, goes really bad for me. He, he's, his eyes weren't as good as they used to be. No, that's true. And he just, you know, melts. But because he killed himself, that doesn't count. He doesn't get to do the whole right so, thing. So hang on, if he kills himself, does that mean that he's actually the balance of the Force? Mm. Oh, I don't know, Justin. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this was a re- this is a really fun and confusing movie. Yeah. I, I gotta say, um, yeah. I, I think we I think we should wrap this up. Um, we've been yeah. going for almost an hour now, and we have learnt nothing. <laughs> we've I, we've we've talked a lot and learnt nothing. That's yeah. right. We've talked a lot, and not said anything. Yeah. Um, no, no. I I really enjoyed the film. I really I, enjoyed the I, film. I agree. I, that, that is one thing that you can walk away from. That's the whole thing. This. And like, we still enjoyed this film. It's still a Star Wars film. You can just sit down and watch it and enjoy it. That's that's the whole thing. And if you don't like it, cool. It doesn't really matter in the end. We're going to have more Star Wars films. Disney is not going to stop. No. <laughs> we're, well, we've got um, Mandalorian coming out next year. Indeed. Uh, actually, we're going to talk about the Mandalorian in the next yeah. video coming out in the channel. Um, by the way, we've also got the Obi Wan Kenobi stuff coming out. Yep, that's going to be cool. And the extra season of the Clone Wars and I, I really hope that Disney look at this stuff and they look at what's successful and they realise why it's successful I mean the whole thing with the Mandalorian is it's so so close to the original Star Wars film and it just it captures so many of those elements so well in the comment section below what did you think keep it civil please I realise people are very very energetic about this and very opinionated just it, it's all cool guys I mean let's let's all be nice to each other let's be cooler than we were after the last Jedi please please in the meantime stay tuned we're going to talk about the Mandalorian in this next video and we're going to be probably wearing the same shirts sitting in the same seats believe it or not do not forget to like and subscribe like us on Facebook follow us on Twitter and Reddit also we got ourselves a Patreon as well so you can go support us on that 
The links for that are down in the description below. Um, all you wonderful, attractive people who have already supported that, you guys are all awesome. Names are... Names Possibly are all on there. the screen. Oh, yes. I'm oh. going to caress all the names. Thank you so much. We'll both catch you in the next video. Bye.